Hi there, so in this video we will see how to resize browser window using phantom.js. So whenever you are doing your headless browser testing and you want to adjust your browser height and width, in such case you make use of viewport size of phantom.js. So let's take a look at that. First, we'll create page variable and then create instance of web page and we will call create method and then page dot open and here I am navigating to let's say in dot wikipedia dot org and then we'll create one function and here we will have page dot viewport size now for this we will specify with as let's say 480 and then height as 600 okay so that being said okay now next thing to do is call for page dot render And here I'm going to name it, let's say, resize.png. I'm taking the screenshot to see whether the viewport size change has any change made to the current test. And that's why I'm going to use screenshot to verify that. Okay, so I'm taking page.viewport size outside open method you are following please do the same okay this is to keep the code clean and then finally semicolon for both okay so this is our simple code we created page variable then change viewport size to 480 and 600 and also we are pointing to in.wikipedia.org resize our page and save it into resize.png and then exiting from phantom.js okay so open command prompt and type in phantom.js sample.js Okay, so it returned and create blank prompt. Now I'm going to verify that by going to the drive and checking resize image. So here you will see uh, height and width that changed. And here you will see the output also shows blurry for checking the image about a specific viewport. Okay, so this is ideal size here for 480 by 600 okay so now we know how to resize your uh, browser window in headless browser testing using phantom.js